Hey, what's going on, guys? How do you do? It's your boy, Gray here. Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. By, by the way, before we start today's video, before we get into everything that we're about to get into, I just want to take a quick moment and say thank you for the support that you guys have been showing on the channel. Uh, really, truly appreciate it. And thank you so much for all the feedback that you guys leave in the comment section regarding these weapon conversions and different class setups that I'm bringing every single day here on the channel from Modern Warfare. Thank you guys so much, man. Keeping in tune with all of that right there, let's talk about this gun you guys are seeing it right there on the screen the g36 c this is this honestly has to be like one of the staple guns from the modern warfare games man i'm talking this gun was in modern warfare call of duty 4 modern warfare it was in modern warfare 2 for spec ops and it was in modern warfare 3 multiplayer as well this right here ladies and gentlemen it's actually a pretty fun and a good weapon to use out in the field you guys are going to see that gameplay in a second here uh, but yeah, man, the G36 weapon conversion from the Holger, the Holger 26. Let's get into this, man. Somebody was shooting me from where, though? Above me here. Hold it. Hold it. UAV entry. Go. That ain't. That was me. That was me. That was me. That was me. I know when it's me and I know when it's the game. That was me. That was me. Holding down this area right now, man. I'm just trying to play it smart. Guy right above me. Yep, right above me, bro. I knew, I knew that he was just waiting to hear me shoot so that he could figure out where I was. Oh, man, yeah! Yo! Yeah, we got for these yeah. windows. Oh, he's tight. He's tight. All right, come on, come on. There they are. I'm just using the rockets. Ah. On this map, it's really hard to get get a kill with this thing. To hide, you know. Enemy care package inbound. Let's go, G36. You're a bitch, you are such a bitch, bro. I shot him first. I shot him first, bro. He was in the middle of a sprint. Come on, man. Look at this shit, man. Enemy cluster strike incoming. No. That 
sir! We're not gonna win this. We're not winning this game because I have bullshit ass teammates, but I'll try here, man. I'll, I'll do what I can. Nice. Deep in our spawn. I like it. Damn, girl. 33 kill game there, ladies and gentlemen. A little 33 bomb, man. I tried. Next best player on my team, 14 kills. 11 kills. I tried, man. Let's go, baby. All right, if you guys are brand new around here, I do upload videos every single day. A lot of Call of Duty content, tips and tricks videos, update videos, all that good stuff. If you guys could do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, drop a like, all that good stuff. Any feedback on this class setup, let me know in the comment section below. And let's talk about it, man. Let's talk about how to build out the G36C assault rifle from the Holger 26 LMG. It's pretty simple. Let's talk about the class setup here. Starting things off with the muzzle. We're looking at the monolithic suppressor. This is more so user preference. It's not something that's mandatory on this class setup. I just thought it was a good addition. Keeps you stealthy, increases the damage range as well. Next up here, guys, the FTAC 8.98 Spitfire. This is the barrel that we're going with. Increased ADS speed and movement speed right there. Uh, following that, this is actually one of the coolest things. This is a unique optic that only the Holger 26 has. It's the FSS Integral Reflex. It actually has two of these integral sights. It has the reflex, and I believe it has like a four times optic that's integral as well. It's pretty cool. But today we're using the reflex sight because this is more of a close quarter assault rifle in a sense. Uh, following that here, guys, the ammunition is one of the key points here. It's the 30 round magazine. We're rocking that right there. It increases your ADS speed and movement speed too. And last but not least, the Ranger foregrip. The reason we're rocking the Ranger foregrip is for that recoil control and aiming stability. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. That right there, I'll give you guys a full 360 look. That is the G36C from previous Call of Duty titles. You guys can see right there on the screen, man. This gun is actually pretty fun to use. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this class setup and this weapon conversion here. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. By the way, tomorrow, uh, I mean, there's supposed to be some big, you know, news of, according to leaks and everything that we've read online. Everybody says March 10th. Tomorrow is March 10th. So depending on, on all of that, I probably will have another video for you guys uh, with this almost exact same class setup, but we're converting the Holger 26. We're going to convert it into the g36 k a4 which is more of a close quarter gives you a little more accuracy more mobility it's actually a pretty crazy crazy weapon it's very similar to the g36c but we'll have that for you guys in the next video anyways man let me know what you guys think in the comment section below if you're brand new subscribe to the channel turn on notifications and drop a like all that good stuff thank you so much for watching till the next one my name is gray peace